Hi, and welcome to this tutorial about absolute and relative cell references, which will prepare you for the Pearson Office 2016 project, especially starting with project two. So we need to discuss for a moment, what is the difference between cell references which have dollar signs in front of them or those without? In this particular sample, we have names of students and then their age. And so I will demonstrate the idea of uh, cell references, first of all, by clicking on a cell and then by typing the equal sign, which tells Excel that something special will now happen. It'll be a formula or some kind of calculation. Anything that happens without the equal sign is simply a string. So if I simply type in C3, and press enter, it'll remain C3 without any magic. However, if I type an equal sign C3, now this has special meaning to Excel and it will simply repeat the value that is in the cell C3 as demonstrated right now. So C3 in the cell D3 becomes a reference. Whatever I change in the cell C3, will automatically be changed in D3. Starting with this then, we get this idea of references. And this happens to be a relative reference, meaning that if I fill, so if I click in the uh, bottom corner of the cell and my cursor becomes uh, a black cross, there is a red square in this uh, lower right-hand corner. I click on it and I scroll down what I am doing right now is filling the formulas. And let's see what the formulas are. From C3, it became C4, C5, and so forth. So these numbers are increasing automatically. They are changing, therefore they are relative. And relative cells are the most common cells in Excel spreadsheets. They are very useful because again, we can very quickly multiply formulas across many, many rows. So why would we need another type of a reference? Well, let's for a moment change this formula to calculate more or less what year the student uh, was likely to be born. So we will go ahead and uh, type in 2017 minus C3. So what we're doing is we're taking year 2017 and subtracting the age. Now, of course, if you uh, look closely at this formula, it is not accurate because uh, someone could have been born in January or December, and so uh, we are not here mathematically correct to determining their uh, birth year. However, it'll do for a sample. So we'll press enter, and uh, Excel says, well, most likely they were born in 1996. And as I now go ahead and do the fill, I can see that the calculation uh, is done for each one of the students. Well, that's nice and good, but what if now I would like to recalculate this for the next year. Well, I would have to go and modify the formula, which is dangerous because I could make mistakes. So instead, we will try to make the spreadsheet into a little program. So we'll type in here year, which happens to be our, our label where we will uh, plug in a specific year. 2017 is our first one, so we'll just try to recreate what's happening right now. So I have the year at the bottom so that I can easily change it to 2018, 2019, and so forth. But now I have to modify my, for my formula. I'm gonna remove the hard-coded year and replace it with my cell. So when I highlight it, I could simply retype, but I can specify the cell, it changes in the formula, and I'll go ahead and press Enter. So right now, we're saying, when you take B14 and subtract the age of the student, let's display what this mathematical uh, uh, equation does. So let's see what happens if this relative cell is now filled. Notice that we have trouble. We have numbers here that uh, are difficult to understand. Is it before common era? What does it mean, minus 21? So what's happened here is we were using B14 as a reference. We made it relative so that the next cell, whoops, the next cell used B15 and the next cell uses B16. 
notice that these cells are currently empty in the spreadsheet. So it was taking 21, subtracting it from zero from an empty cell. So this is a difficult part. Uh, you cannot solve that easily with relative cells other than maybe putting the year uh, in the next column and just uh, putting 2017 all across. So this is where absolute uh, references are helpful. Absolute means that you will pick a cell anywhere in the spreadsheet and freeze the formula there. So we'll go ahead and take B14 and we make it an absolute reference by either adding uh, the dollar sign by hand or pressing F4 on your keyboard. If you are on the Mac, that's the function key and the F4 uh, button in the very first row of the keyboard. I will just go ahead and type in the dollar signs. Now this makes the cell look, di look different. It looks a little hairy. Uh, however, it means that this B14 cell is frozen. It's stuck so that when we do a formula, it will be all calculated with B uh, 14 instead of B15, 16, and so forth. So let's press enter. And now let's see the magic where I will fill in this formula and notice that the years are calculated correctly. So if I look at the first uh, row, it says B14. When I go down one, it still says B14 and B14 and B14. And that is an absolute reference. Minus C12 is great because that's what we want to see, C12. So C12 is relative, B14 is absolute. As the last comment here, you will see sometimes in Excel where uh, the dollar sign is only maybe in front of the number or in front of the name of the column, uh, the column B, for example. And so that happens because you can freeze the cell either totally so that it's stuck in one cell. That's what we did with two dollar signs. Or if you have only one dollar sign, you are freezing it either vertically or horizontally. So right now, the B column is actually relative. So if I start filling this function horizontally, it will actually start uh, changing that letter. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. So notice that B became C, it became D, and 14 has not changed. So sometimes you need that trick where you are using uh, absolute value only for the row or only for the cell. Uh, but most uh, commonly, you will use the absolute value for both the column and the row number. So hopefully this helps you to visualize what the absolute and relative cells are. And again, relative cells are those without uh, any special characters uh, in front of them. And absolute values or absolute cell references are those with dollar signs uh, in front of the column and uh, the row. Next, we're going to go over the PMT function, the VLOOKUP function, and the IF function. Thank you.